Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. It is Halloween, ooh, ah. And I have absolutely no idea what's happening because I am filming this obviously ahead of time. Um, and I don't know what's going to be showing up or being available today, but I thought since I've been nagged incessantly by my father about this, he's wanted to have a Kingdom Death Halloween video, like, for all year. So I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's have a Kingdom Death Halloween here. A very special Halloween. And it goes without saying, but in the past we've had quite a few special limited edition models that are only available at Halloween. And the very first one was this, the Halloween Twilight Night. Now she was originally a resin model, and that's what this one is, and then she got embiggened later on in plastic and may be available today or in the near future. I have no idea. We have not seen nor heard anything of any sort of sale this year, but rest assured we'll probably get one. And I know there were a few promo items that were available. She was released, I believe, the year right after the Kickstarter funded, the original Kingdom Death Monster Kickstarter, which was a few years ago, to say the least. So she was the first. And then I believe the next one were the survivors. We had the original four survivors done up in Halloween costumes. And again, I am pretty sure, I can't remember 100% now, but I'm pretty sure they were actually resin releases. And these obviously are the plastics, my favorite. For all the wrong reasons. And you can see here the plastics do hold up pretty nice in size to the resins. These are the older resins as well, so they have gotten a little bit larger over the years. We have the two ladies. Very interesting base details. I love the Elvira model. Frankenstein, obviously. And then we had the Halloween Satan. Halloween Satan was a combo kit of a 54 millimeter pinup and then a gaming sized model as well that did include an extra trident if you wanted to use that with your armor kits. I really like this model. It's nice and sturdy, big and chunky. You can see there she's quite large in comparison to some of the other models there. And rounding up the painted releases so far, we have Oktoberfest Aya. And much like the Halloween Satan, she was a combo 54 millimeter pinup and gaming size model. And I really like the gaming size model. The pinup is a little bit too cheesecakey for my taste, but someday I'm going to finish her. I have started her. So it seems like I'm leaving something out. Now, some may argue that the entire line is nothing more than a bunch of curvaceous ladies cosplaying in various, you know, roles. But actually, there is one that I'm missing. And lo and behold, I realized I actually already have it. I just had completely forgotten about it. And that is the Halloween White Speaker. Now, originally, she came in a weird, funky square box that barely fit her because of her evil pumpkin thing. And it was a resin miniature, but obviously this is a plastic one. A lot of the newer plastics whoop, came in these nice snazzy tuck boxes. They make me feel bad when I want to toss them afterwards. Now here is probably what more of the game players are after. You have your incidental postcard, but you also have the Black Ghost Dagger, and I believe this is following the patterns, yeah. So this is something that's going to be kind of future-proofed for the Campaigns of Death, Gambler's Chest, all that stuff that's coming up. So you can take a look at that, and then the actual Black Dagger card itself, but I'm not as interested in that stuff, I'll be more interested once all the goodies show up. I want to see what the actual model's like, because honestly, I had the resin, painted it, traded it, wasn't super impressed, but I remember seeing, like, right after somebody bought it, I traded, I don't even remember now, right after I got rid of it, they ended up announcing the plastic version, so I was like, oh, yeah. 
So I know it's not the same construction. I want to say the original, the pumpkin, was just one big solid piece, but I really dig the cape. The colors especially, I think with the black and white stockings and the bright orange of the interior of the cape and then the fur, feathers, skulls, pumpkins, the red hair, everything. It just, I think it's going to be an interesting mix of colors and obviously the black dagger when I eventually get around to painting her. It doesn't look super complex either. I do like, as with most of the newer plastics, you have a scenic base top. Outside of our Twilight Night, Halloween Twilight Night, we haven't really had much other than like little, you know, incidental stuff to glue along the base with the characters. But not too complex, not too bad. Actually, the piece sizes look pretty substantial. Looks like it's going to be easy to work with. So give me a moment. I will put her together. We'll take a look at how she stacks up with the other models out there. And hopefully, fingers crossed, She'll be available today or tomorrow or sometime in the very near future if you guys are interested. So let's find out how she turns out. All right, we got our white speaker pretty much finished. Now, I did not attach everything, and I just wanted to go over a couple things. So the contact point for the head was kind of small. Everything else is pretty intuitive, except for the hand that's supposed to be holding the top of the pumpkin. It just kind of sits in a slot. It doesn't look like there's actually any kind of keyed part in there. So be aware of that before you start playing around with the glue. You do want to line up the top of her hand with the top of the pumpkin, though. I don't actually even have her glued to the pumpkin, surprisingly. Uh, but it works out okay. So other than that, I did not glue on her cape. And I'll be honest, I don't know if you really have to. I mean, the back is fully detailed. Where did I put the cape? But it just kind of slots in like so, so it's not going to make a huge difference. And it's actually pretty nice and easy to just glue on when I have everything all painted up. I hate having to try to reach in those little cracks and crevices, especially with Kingdom Death models, because it seems like there's always something in the way, like big giant deflated pumpkin bag things. And now I can't figure out how to get her on it, okay. Just get her right there. Grabbing a whole bunch of other ones. I guess I could have grabbed all the other white speakers I have. I know I've got a resin white speaker somewhere. The 10th anniversary one, the sci-fi white speaker, so I guess we will just add her to the pile. Hey, and you know what? Maybe my goal this year should be to actually finish the plastic Halloween Twilight Night, but you can see she fits in really well. And again, with these models, you know, they are a lot of fun. They have that very anime-esque look to them, which, I don't know, I'm a fan, but I'm a big nerd and grew up reading that kind of stuff and watching that kind of stuff, so it really resonates with me. I can't speak for anybody else, but Logman Lamb's art definitely is hitting all the right notes for me. And, yeah, she does look a little bit bigger, and I don't know if it's just because of the pumpkin or what, but she does look pretty big. Again, Kingdom Death models are kind of big, and she just looks kind of dwarfed by everybody else. These are a little bit older plastics. I guess if I went and grabbed a bunch of the modern stuff, more recent releases, it wouldn't look as noticeable, perhaps. You know what, I think the only white speaker I'm missing anymore is the boss one that had, like, the big feathered headdress, but I don't know, maybe it's in the garage, hidden away somewhere where I found her, who knows. Otherwise, so like I said, the only major issues I had putting her together were the arm holding the pumpkin and then the contact point for the head. I was kind of interesting that the hair was actually two pieces that slotted in. You don't usually see that, but everything else went really smoothly, intuitively, and easily. So if you're interested, hopefully we will see her this Halloween. If not, maybe we'll see something new and interesting, and you'll see it back here soon. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween.